always tracking so we can warn you first. This is your Storm Team 27 forecast. So far, we're not breaking any records with the rain. Rain hasn't been too bad here towards the end of the month. We're now at 2.69 inches. You can see we're not one of the driest nor one of the wettest. We'll probably pick up around an inch of rain through tomorrow, so that still won't make us one of the 10 wettest. And we're running out of time to do that for the month of October. Here is all this rain. This is the remnants of Patricia, that uh, tropical storm that's pushing up in this direction. And the further south you look, the more you see more rain. We'll see if it sort of wears itself out as it moves into our area. Uh, it's bringing us clouds definitely at this point, but the sun's been able to streak through that. We even were able to see the full hunter's moon this morning, too. Our neighborhood temperatures include 51 in Alliance, 52 in Beloit, Salem, Austin Town, 53 at the airport, and we have a 54 there in downtown Youngstown and 51 in Wellsville and Calcutta. I've moved Future Tracker up here to around 10, 11 o'clock. It looks like the rain's now going to hold off until then. This is the updated forecast. Originally, we had it starting around 8 o'clock, so it looks like it may hold off until 10, and during first news at 11, Paul Wetzel will be telling you how much rain you've had so far. Then when I'm in here for first news this morning, between 5 and 6 and 7, we're going to have a rain throughout the area. Temperature is mild, though, in the mid-50s. The rain stays with us into the 7 o'clock hour through the morning. Picks up in an intensity. You see that in the yellow there uh, at 11 o'clock. And uh, first news at noon. More of that rain into 1 o'clock. And then slowly but surely, after we get past 3, it starts to die down in intensity. It's a little more scattered, except for at 7 o'clock. A little more scattered for the evening. There'll still be some rain left over on Thursday morning. So our weather team forecast for this afternoon, get out and do whatever you need to do outdoors before the rain with a high of 57. Then for tonight, cloudy. Now the showers look like they're developing around 10 o'clock or so. 49 the low and the winds pick up to about 15 miles per hour. Tomorrow we could have wind gusts anywhere from 30, possibly up to 50 miles per hour at the time and 100% chance of showers, maybe some thunder too. High of 63, and then we go from that warm air to cooler conditions by Thursday afternoon, dry and 50. Friday, 50 and dry as well. The low dropping down to 36 degrees. And Halloween Saturday, everybody's worried about this. It's going to be dry. High of 56. Sunday, it looks like those showers will hold off until the evening, and then we have a couple of warm days Monday and Tuesday.